Welcome aboard! I'm Cookie Masterson, and don't worry, very few people have ever died during this game. Fewer than a hundred. I see someone playing has the second best name in the world. Someday, Cookie will unseat M. Knight. But until then, we're pretty awesome, you and me, Cookie. Everybody's got their screws. You can force another player to answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, you win extra bonus dollars. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Stop Sign Quarterly Magazine, because all the other magazine topics were already taken. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. <laughs> Okie doke, this is really happening. Get ready, time to crash it. First on the docket, kiss the cook, please. So, I'm taking a cooking class tonight, hoping to meet some single ladies. Maybe flirt a little. Which of these sexy maneuvers would be the least saucy? Licking fondant off my lips, winking while smelling coulee, playfully starting an aioli fight, or tasting pesto off my finger? Player three? <laughs> Players one, two, and four. Fondant is a special type of cake icing and not a sauce. The others here are sauces. <laughs> it's still pretty sexy though. In fact, I'm wearing it on my nipples right now, mostly to prevent chafing. I call this one. She sells surgical procedures by the seashore. Say extra host Maria Menounos decides she needs a new nose. If she wants the one that'll give her the best sense of smell, what should Maria Menounos' new nose be? A dog's nose, a bear's nose, an elephant's nose, or a cow's nose? <laughs> now pay attention. A bear has the best sense of smell of any land mammal, and possibly the best in the world. I really hope she doesn't get that bear nose, though. My chances with her are slim enough without her being able to smell really well. Dance with me, Disco 3! And now, death comes to us all. Who kicked the bucket? A guy who kicked To Kill a Mockingbird's kid? A guy who kicked Where the Wild Things Are's kid? A guy who kicked James and the Giant Peach's kid? Or a guy who kicked Charlie and the Chocolate Factory's kid? <laughs> Player f Any last words? Not uh, too late. <laughs> Player three? Giant fail. <laughs> Player four? Charlie Bucket is the hero of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> So somebody kicks Charlie Bucket. Big deal. At least he didn't get sucked up a glass tube or turned into a blueberry or thrown down a garbage chute or shrunk down to six inches or have an everlasting gobstopper shoved up his butt. That last one's from the porno version, actually. Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Say hello to Robin Thick as Thieves. I love that old Robin Thick video blurred lines with all the sexy nudity and Oh, there's a song too? No, oh, I've I've never watched it with sound. What might Robin Thick have if he drew six blurred lines? A fuzzy octagon, a blurry hexagon, an indistinct pentagon. Well, next time try this. There are six lines in a hexagon. But if Robin Thicke drew it, it would be a sexagon, am I right? So sexy. Now, which one of the women in the video is Robin Thicke? The blonde one? No, an octagon is eight lines. You know, like a stop sign. Which you're about to know a lot more about because you've won... A one-year subscription to Stop Sign Quarterly, the only publication devoted entirely to America's third most interesting road sign. You'll be happy to know this wrong answer. The game comes with $4,000. Congrats. Bye, fingers! This one's known as...
The Paisley Fabric of Society, and it's time for a dis or dat. Player three? You seem to be behind a bit. This dis or dat is all yours. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, tell me if it's... A song by country music star Brad Paisley, or... A chapter from Nelson Mandela's autobiography, Long Walk to Freedom. If it's Brad Paisley, press the square button. If it's Nelson Mandela, press the circle button. The rest of you should still keep your eyes open. Lock in your answers before player three. If player three gets it wrong, I'll split up that cash to everyone who got it right. All right, let's get started. A country child. I can't change the world. Birth of a freedom. I'm still a guy. Letter to me. Talking with the enemy. Accidental racist. Not bad, but don't expect a curtain call. An international icon, a true believer in freedom, and a man who stood up for what was right. Brad Paisley is easily one of my top ten favorite country singers. That'll bring an end to our first round, and player four is in the lead. But for how long? Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. And I want to see some screwing. You're being too nice. Next? Like plight on rice. Which brand of rice would most likely cause Spider-Man to suddenly break down and cry in the grocery store? Zotarain's, Ricearoni, Uncle Ben's, or Minute Rice? Spider-Man, a.k.a. Peter Parker, had an Uncle Ben who was tragically killed by a robber when he was younger. Luckily, he doesn't have a dead Aunt Jemima, or the grocery store would emotionally wreck him. Next up, the male gaze. Um, Mr. Masterson, there's a package for you. Yes! It's the Playboy Bunny poster I got from eBay. The joke's on you, poster guy 83 because I ended up outbidding you by over $100. Oh, it's beautiful. It almost looks real. Say, if my Playboy Bunny poster could come alive the same way the Velveteen Rabbit did, what should I do? Pray that it comes al- You got a player for Pick some of the screw! If you're gonna threaten to screw someone, you gotta act on it. We'll try not to let that ruin the rest of the game. Players one and three? The Velveteen Rabbit had the ability to come alive when its owner truly loved it. Okay, it's worth a shot. I love you, I love you, I love you! Oh my god, she's alive. Uh, what happened? Where am I? Why are there pictures of cats everywhere? Oh, yeah, don't worry, they won't interrupt us. Ah, get away from me! Well, time to get a new poster. Player two? Nobody picks that one. Follow me down to the sea. How about that's one long Toy Story? Say the next Toy Story movie introduces a new character named Buzz Parsec. Judging by his name, about how many Buzz Light Years should fit inside of him? About three Buzz Light Years, about 30 Buzz Light Years, about 300. Player two, who gets the screw? Oh, you're screwed, player one. You got five seconds. Um, really? Well played, screw player two. Time to twist the knife. Player three? Check, please. Player two? This is a sad, strange little guess. Player four? There are 3.26 light years in a parsec. So in theory, you would be able to fit three whole buzz light years and like maybe just the arm of a fourth buzz light year into a single buzz parsec. A bigger and better buzz.
Buzz character is a good idea. Now you can even get the toy to be voiced by a bigger and better actor than Tim Allen, like, uh... No, who am I kidding? Impossible! <laughs> Why not try? Wax on, get off. So you know the Madame Tussauds wax museums, right? There's one in London, one in New York, one in Hollywood. So tell me this. If the infamous Hollywood madam got a wax statue in the Hollywood Madame Tussauds, what could you see there? An unusually shiny Ashley Dupree? A fake looking divine? Player one, who's gonna get it? You're screwed, player three. Five seconds to pick an answer. How do you say, uh, no? Player one, your screw worked out. Grab a few more bucks, why don't you? Player two. Player four. That was quality. Player one. Ashley Dupree was Elliot Spitzer's prostitute, Divine Brown was Hugh Grant's prostitute, Deborah Jean Palfrey was the DC Madam, and Heidi Fleiss was known as the Hollywood Madam. So she'd be perfect for the Hollywood Madame Tussauds. And if you slip her 400 bucks, she'll hook you up with a wax hooker of your choice. Take a stab at dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. What kind of bank did a cartoon bank robber most likely just rob if they're carrying giant money bags with this symbol on them? A cartoon British bank, a cartoon German bank, a cartoon Mexican. That is the pound sterling symbol, used for currency in several countries, maybe most famously in England. <laughs> And when robbing a cartoon British bank, it's important not to attract the attention of any mustachioed cartoon bobbies. They'll throw you in a cartoon jail before you have a chance to cartoon run away, leaving only a cartoon puff of smoke shaped like your cartoon body. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2000 if you're right. 2,000 gone if you're wrong, but keep this in mind. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Psych to be at this hospital. What's their movie that's set in a psych ward? Good luck.
score player one. It's got a nice shiny coat, strong teeth, and its nose is cold. You should call it... You don't know! Kyle Pepper. And ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. Well, now I'm 36 and going nowhere fast. So that's why I'm starting Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League. We only have three rules. One, everyone's welcome regardless of gender or race. Two, every team starts with five runs so they don't feel bad. And three, every Tuesday night we trade spouses and experiment sexually. Okay, okay, you probably just said, I can't believe what I just heard. You start with five runs? Tryouts are this Thursday at 6 in my backyard, with a small tickle party starting at 9. Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League. I can't wait to meet you! No matter who you are, you have dreams. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a doctor. A dinosaur. And Angie's Ice Creamery wants to hear them. Come into any Angie's to tell us your dream, and you'll get a dreamsicle absolutely free. I want to be a teacher. Here's a free dreamsicle. I want to be a surfer. Here's a free dreamsicle. I want to be best friends with a horse. Here's a free dreamsicle. Is this where we tell the dreams? It sure is. I'm standing naked, looking into a mirror. My face is not my own. A small fire burns besides me and I face it. A young calf slowly melts into the flames. It looks at me and speaks. This is what remembering does, it says. And then I'm in a field, it's raining. I cannot move my legs, but steadily I go forward. Through the tall grass towards a grave. I cannot read it, but I do not need to. This grave is mine. Then I wake up. Um, do you want a dreamsicle? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, everything is pleasant now. What are all you kids looking at? <laughs> Angie's Ice Creamery. It's a dream come true.